Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mark and welcome to Epic Confections. If you are new here, welcome. Welcome to the gayest cake tutorial channel on YouTube. You're welcome. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and hit that bell notification for new epic videos every single week. This week is such a special week. I'm joined with some incredible, talented people for a collaboration for Pride Month. Yes, it is Pride. Happy Pride, everybody. Today I'm joined with Dan from Man Cake, Lorelai from Cakes with Lorelai, Faye from Cupcake Savvy's Kitchen, and Charity from The Lovely Baker. The theme, Pride. Anything rainbow, unicorn, glittery. So, let's do it. Yo! So this cake is actually for a friend. It is her birthday and she just happens to be gay. Crazy, super, super gay. Not as gay as me, but she's pretty gay. Yeah. So today I'm gonna be making a rainbow themed birthday cake. Let's do it. So to start I have three chocolate eight inch round cakes. I have my cake board here and I have my piping bag full of white buttercream and nice silky smooth white buttercream. So to start I'm just placing a little bit of buttercream on the bottom of my board. Just taking my cake and I flipped it over placing it on my board. Just putting a little bit of icing in between each of these layers and then smoothing it out with my spatula. Right to the edge. Always make sure to have your hot water handy. I have my second layer going on. Beautiful. So next I have a cheater bag and I just filled it with that same white buttercream. For anybody new here, anybody who wants to know what a cheetah bag is, it's this. With your very big long tip. <laughs> so I call it a cheetah bag because normally when you ice a cake you take a spatula and you ice it. This kind of eliminates that step, so you're kind of cheating, right? I like to use it because it gives me a nice, smooth, uh, even finish. Just taking my hot spatula, smoothing out the top as best as I can, trying to get it as flat as possible. And then starting on my side, just moving my spatula back and forth, turning the turntable, letting the turntable do the work for me. And just trying to get those sides as flat and straight as possible. So once you're happy with your sides, you'll notice a whole bunch of excess buttercream on the top here. I'm just going to take my spatula and just very gingerly just drag it into the middle of my cake and that should leave you with a nice sharp smooth edge. I'm really fussy with my edges so I'm probably going to go over this about like six or seven times. So once you're happy with the way your cake looks, I'm just going to throw this into the fridge for a good 10-15 minutes just to kind of Give that buttercream time to rest and harden up. And then we're gonna start decorating. Let's do it! Oh, but before I do that, I'm just taking some paper towel and just cleaning up any excess water that kind of fell off from that cake. So I just took my cake out of the fridge. It's been about 15 minutes. Uh, it's had time to kind of set a little bit, which is great. Next, I have some Reynolds parchment paper. And I just want to take a moment to thank Reynolds because this parchment paper. I don't know if you can see it on camera, probably not, but it has grids so you can cut even strips. Thank you Reynolds for thinking about bakers. Appreciate that. Reynolds. <laughs> so I just cut my parchment paper into what maybe one inch strips. 
I'm just gonna place them on the cake vertically all the way around. So, let's get started. I am just eyeballing this, by the way. And you know how that turns out sometimes. So now that my parchment paper is on, I'm just going back in and just really making sure that all the edges are nice and secure onto the cake. I'm going to pop this back into the fridge for about 20 minutes while we work on some color. So next here I have all of my gel colors. I also have a little dish. So what I'm going to be doing is just kind of blobbing them out onto my dish because then I'm going to be taking a paintbrush and painting on my cake. So now that I have all my colors in my plate, my cake is nice and firm. The buttercream is nice and firm. You definitely want to make sure that the buttercream has hardened before you paint on it because, well, that could just be a disaster, right? So I'm just taking my paintbrush, just dabbing it into my purple color. And starting from the bottom, I'm just going to brush up. Just like that. Unless you have six paint brushes, you're going to want to wash your brush in between each color. So, next is my blue. Just dipping it in my color. Okay, so yes, I know it's annoying, but I'm gonna pop this back into the fridge for another 15 minutes. All right, so I just pulled my cake out of the fridge. I'm gonna be taking off these parchment strips. Yes. So next I have a bowl full of really colorful sprinkles. I'm just going to take a little handful, just at the very base of the cake, just adding a few sprinkles there, trying my best to make them fall into, into the bowl, sometimes it doesn't work. Next, I have a large piping bag with a large rose tip on it, filled with plain white buttercream. And just all the way around the outer edge of the top of the cake, just going to be doing a spiral. And just taking those same sprinkles, just sprinkling the whole top of the cake. And there it is guys, that's it. Here is the super gay pride cake. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you saw, smash that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell notification for new epic videos every single week. Stay safe, stay healthy, and happy pride y'all. Love you, see you next week. Mwah.